the cars need to go first. The cars need to go first? Yes. Okay. Make sure their phone numbers, make sure their email is right. Haven't stopped every day. Didn't have a bag down at all. We just wonder where are these people coming from? It starts at 8 o'clock every morning and it ends at about 11 30 at night. The emotional and physical toll has been tremendous. In the, in the beginning, we just it, it was 12 to 14 hour days every day. The staff members come every day. They're very committed and they really work hard. Uh, I'm proud to work shoulder to shoulder with a lot of these people because they've shown me that if we come together as a community and staff, we can provide a lot for this community at large. Because we only have a 10-bed ICU, we have some patients that might remain in the emergency room overnight because we don't have the bed capacity, so they may have to remain there for 24 to 40 hours prior to being transferred to the ICU. Are you seeing cases go down, or do you feel it's just as busy now than ever? Uh, well, I think it's still just as busy. I think that we're just not caught off guard like we were in the beginning. It does. It just feels like that. Um, Whoever's coming up here is going to be positive, probably, and we're still going to do our best uh, and try to get them out of here alive. <laughs>